Hi, I'm Kelly Springer, registered dietitian, and I'm here today to talk about a recipe that is going to be done so quick and easily and give you tons of nutrition. So this comes from the beefitswhatsfordinner.com recipe, and I have this piece of paper so you can see how easy it is to print it out from the website, and there's tons of recipes that are quick and easy and nutritious on their site. So today we're gonna to do the beef and vegetable fried rice. In front of us, we have our scallions, we have soy sauce, we use the low sodium soy sauce, so we have a little bit less sodium. We're using sesame oil today, peas, ginger, peppers, garlic. We're using long grain rice and we're also using lean ground beef. So let's get started and put all this together in the pan. So now let's get cooking. We have our skillet and we're going to start first with lean ground beef. This is 95.5, which means that 95% of this is ground beef and 5% is fat. I like using lean ground beef because it has more meat. Makes sense, right? So because this is an animal protein, that means that it's a complete protein. It has all nine essential amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks for protein. So we're gonna add this to our pan. I have the heat at about medium, and we're gonna add our meat right into the pan. Now, ground beef also has B vitamins, iron, and selenium, and it is going to help to keep you full as well. I love partnering our beef with our vegetables. We're gonna do a little bit later. But right now, we're gonna actually pair it together with some garlic. Now, a little fun tip, add garlic after you add the ground beef so that your garlic doesn't burn. A little fun fact in nutrition. Now, garlic is gonna add a ton of flavor to all of our dishes. And it's also a prebiotic, which is good for digestion. The second thing we're gonna add in is ginger. And we use a cheese grater to, um, to grind our ginger. A fun fact about ginger is that you can store it in your freezer for up to a year. So it comes in a pretty large form. Um, and you're probably not gonna use it all because it's a pretty potent spice. Um, but adding a little bit to your dishes makes it taste delicious and adds a lot, a lot of flavor. Plus, it's also good for digestion. So we're gonna let this meat cook a little bit with the spices added in, and we'll be back in a minute. So I'm using a slotted spoon to move our lean ground beef and our ginger and garlic so that we can get started next on cooking our vegetables. On to our next step, we are cooking the vegetables. So we're using the same pan, which is very important to me since I'm going to clean up all of this after we're done. I love one pan dishes. Um, so we are gonna cook our vegetables with just a little bit of water. So we're steaming them, which is a very healthy way to make our vegetables. We have our pepper here. I use an orange and a red pepper. They have vitamin A and vitamin C plus fiber. And also we're using our peas. So getting the green, the orange, and the red, it's going to add a lot of color to our dish today. So we're gonna mix these all together. We did start with frozen peas. They're an inexpensive way to get in plant-based protein and also get in another source of fiber. Next, we're gonna add in our rice and I use long grain rice. Um, this is going to give you a little bit more fiber than using white rice. Um, so we're going to add this in to our dish as well. Again, loving that one dish recipe. And then we're going to add in soy sauce. Like I said in the beginning, we're using low sodium soy sauce. So we're not getting as much sodium as we would from regular soy sauce. And then we're going to add in a little bit of sesame oil. It's going to add in flavor and a little bit of the fats that we have absorption of our fat soluble vitamins, which are A, D, E, and K. So having a little bit of fat source, a part of our meal helps to absorb the fat soluble vitamins. As you can see here, this dish is looking better and better. And just in a minute, we're gonna be adding it to our ground beef. It's now time to add the two together. So we're adding our rice and vegetable mix to our ground beef with our ginger and garlic. As you can see, this is a quick, simple meal using one pan and one bowl. The whole family is going to love this dish. Again, like I said, you're getting color, you're getting protein, you're getting nutrients, 
you're getting fiber. It is a delicious dish that everyone is going to love. And I top it off with a little bit of green onion to add in just a little bit more color and flavor and your dish is complete. I hope you enjoyed this recipe today. Go to beefitswhatsfordinner.com to learn more recipes for your own family.